in there with a massive fish in there. It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna knock it out. Morning. Um, I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> I took a day off the vlog yesterday and um, basically we had a free day in Noosa where we could do whatever we wanted. Um, so I basically just chilled and relaxed, went to the town. Um, not really something that would be entertaining on the vlog, so <laughs> I even went to the cinema. I super chilled. We're packing today because we're leaving lovely Noosa today. I really liked it here. This is a really nice hostel. The next two days are a bit crazy. We need to pack an overnight bag for an overnight train. And then when we get to the hostel, so it's gonna, we're gonna get there at like six o'clock in the morning or something horrible like that. Um, we then need to pack again to go on a tr on a on, on a yacht, which we'll be staying overnight in with Sundays, um, which I'm really excited about. But I don't want to pack for that either. But I'm gonna worry. That's tomorrow's problem. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of like overnight packing going on, and everyone's a bit stressed. Yesterday we had um, kangaroo, <laughs> kangaroo bolognese for, for dinner, um, which our tour guide made for us. Um, and this morning we've got breakfast. Um, they, he's put on some breakfast with the leftover money for that. Um, I'm, I'm just really tired today, really, really tired. Um, and I know that I've got a, a long journey in the next two days, so I'm a bit anxious today because I don't... I feel like I've not properly slept and now I'm worrying about the next two days. That's not really helping. I don't know what to do. I've packed my medication stuff in here and I'm gonna download loads of Netflix and stuff. So hopefully that will help a little bit. It's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for the next two days, but I'm just, uh, my anxiety's creeping back in. And it's been pretty chill for, since I've been here. I've not really been that anxious at all until today so yeah this this bit of the trip and very very just the logistics of it is stressing me out a bit um yes yeah, so i'm gonna have a tea and try and sort myself out <laughs> oh there are gonna be decent films on aladdin <laughs> Downton Abbey? Oh no, I've been stitched up here. <laughs> Have you not? I thought that was family too. Yeah, well, this one is family. What the hell? Do we need to switch seats? <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Go on, lads! Go on, lads! fish in there that like <laughs> I gotta knock it out. I'm not too wanted to knock it out. Yeah. I have generalized anxiety disorder so I, I'm scared of everything. You got this. Oh, oh it's not that cold. Okay. Excuse me Mr Fish I'm coming in. Ah the giant fish is back. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Oh my god I'm never fish Okay. Hello. Oh, you're gonna wet the lips. Oh, please don't nibble my feet. I've been off. Stop flying! Okay. Oh, yeah. As soon as you're in, uh, so much. Okay. You, you're gonna feel fine. And always the hard, in. the hardest time hard is always getting in. What if I just push you? No. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh my god, this is weird. This is the montage bit. <laughs>
Now those first females are in like a hierarchy. You see like the top female, the top dog, all the way down to the bottom. Now if George was to disappear, the, the head female, the most dominant female, will then turn into the male. So she will triple, if not quadruple in size. She'll go that beautiful vibrant blue colours, grow the big lump on her head, grow boy bits, and become quite social and breed with the rest of the females. So George started his life as Georgina. So they're, they're, they changed their gender depending on their dominance. My knees. Oh. Yeah. Wear sunscreen, lads. Must regret. I did wear sunscreen. Muddy Australia.